Hey, uh, welcome to this Saturday evening when this is recorded. Um, hope that you guys are doing well and uh, are blessed out there. Thank you guys for, for joining us. And hey, so wanted to, to go through the Shurio AMA, talk to you guys a little bit about it, give you guys some overview. Uh, if you guys didn't go through it and you don't feel like going through it, great. Listen to me. I'm going to hit the highlights of it so you guys can, can grab some information uh, regarding the Shurio AMA. It was a text AMA, so there was no voice part of it. It was all text related. So uh, really easy to go through. If you want to read it, you can go to the Telegram site and uh, actually grab that and, and read it for yourself. It's, it's not a bad read. It's not hard to uh, go through it, and it doesn't take very long. But like I said, we're going to hit the highlights. But first, before we start the, the highlights of the Shurio AMA, um, maybe you noticed a, a few things today. First off, Ape, ApeCoin is down a little bit. This is not so surprising. Uh, so uh, ApeCoin is down. Why is Ape down? Well, there's probably a little bit of selling going on. Why? Because, well, first off, you've got to have Ape to buy their uh, their their their, uh, their, basically their metaverse, their their land that is inside Ape. So if you have Ape Coin, you can do that, and then you are buying it. But here's here's the, the problem, folks. Um, that's some of the network fees that were that were out there uh, just during the, the time frame that they were um, that they released there. I even saw higher ones. Some people were posting. Uh, up to like 60, one, one time I, I saw an image that said $63,000 was the network fee. Guys, that's absolutely ridiculous. And one of the things that we're, that, that Shrio is actually working on to try and alleviate some of the issues that, that go along with that. So where is Shrio at today right now? We're at, uh, at 10 zeros 14, uh, come a little down, but you know what? We're still riding that. Riding that same support line, we're not really, you know, going, you know, very far off of it. It's like if you look at the the streamline, it's like, so, um, yeah, it's like, right. So, um, not much change going up and down, but the the, the big things are going to happen when some of the stuff that we're going to talk about the AMA occur. So, where are we at as far as number of holders for Shurio? We're at 41,873 holders. Yes, that just turned over, so it's not changed a whole turned over as far as numbers. So uh, as time frame is concerned, so that's why it says 0% change right there. But that's okay. We're still moving forward. We're getting closer to that 42,000 mark, and then we'll uh, we'll take off. But I guarantee you that later on down the line, this is going to like take off and absolutely go crazy guys so uh if you are not in tashirio and you're into trading card games please do your research and and, and talk about it uh, um ask questions find out what you what you need to know about uh, shirio and the trading card game and everything app please do so it is a great place for information the white paper and all that stuff don't take my word for it. Go read it for yourself. Uh, you can take my word for it if you want to, but um, you know I, I would suggest going over there to get some information on, about it. All right, so thank you guys for that part of it. Now let's jump into some of the AMA questions and some of the talk about. Uh, first off, you know we were there talking about the Matic release. I think that's a big one for everybody's. Uh, on everybody's time frame, when is the Matic release going to happen? And there is no set date for that yet. Um, there will be a small pre-sale, but that's going to be for people that have really been helping the community on their own dime and have been helping them. And it's by invitation only. After that, um, there'll be a, a release, but don't we don't know how much that you know what the, the all the details are on that. They will get that. As it gets closer to time, uh, the the Matic token when it's relaunched will be price matched with its Ethereum token. 
based on liquidity and and the everything that's put into it. So it will not be different than the ether uh, Ethereum coin. It'll it'll be price matched, and so it'll it'll go along that, and it'll be bridged across. So uh, there's a lot of things that go on along with that. So um, what are all the details? They're still to come. All right. Um, staking questions were asked, you know, because people want more than just base packs or want, want different from base packs, or they're, they're concerned that base packs are basically worthless because, well, people are getting them for free. And I wouldn't say they're really getting them for free. They're staking their coins to get base packs. So there's a lot of base packs out there. There's got to be a lot of cards out there to play this game. No, it's not a paid-for game. You can play this game absolutely free. There's going to be 50 cards that are out there available for use that are outside of the 175 cards that you that if you have a base pack that you can play, but you won't have access to the 175 cards that are part of the base or founders packs. So um, that's just part of the – you don't have to pay to play. You'll be able to play. But if you want some of the other cards, you're going to have to, to play to get into them. Uh, there's going to be some other things that, that go on with avatars, as far as the whitelist and the game persona. There's going to be there's going to be benefits to holding uh, an avatar. So, and then there's they haven't released what those benefits are yet. They're working on some things in the background, and uh, that's that's good information to know. So, if you haven't got you an avatar. Uh, there is further utility coming to it, so it may be, may be worth it to go mint one or buy one from somebody else. Because once these 10,000 are gone, that's it. All right. So there's been a lot, little bit of concern about um, some uh, the fact that, like, there's been some FUD and stuff talked about as far as, you know, there it was 111th, uh, 111 ETH transaction that was put out there or that was um that was made okay and there's a specific wallet they're they're talking about um and the, the basically the question was the community would be like to, a clear explanation about the 111 eth transaction that was sent for security reasons they believe it could be a well-planned slow rug at this stage of shirio's development some community members have reason to believe that every time something goes out from the marketing wallet, the wallet ending in B5A1 buys every single time. Could you provide deep, further transparency on the 111 ETH transaction and B5A1? And this was the answer. I'm just going to read it verbatim because I think you need to know this. You need to understand this. All right. So I'll answer this quite bluntly. And this is from the, the Shirio Dev. Um, that was answering these questions. The team has spent seven days a week, every week since launch, building everything you see. Why would we want to rug a project we've poured our heart and soul into? We have a process of securing the funds from theft, hacking, or anything else malicious. Whether you realize it or not, the team holds a large large amount of publicly verified crypto access, assets in our docs. The, this leaves the team open to attempts to gain access to these funds. We will always be transparent with the community about how we secure the funds and ensure they're safe. We can't share the details, the full details of that for the above reason. Note, we've never had any security issues this far, but we can't be too careful. As for B5A1, it is a, is a wallet that holds Shirio. And at, what they're saying is it's as far as B5A1, as we know as much as you. The team doesn't know who owns this wallet, and they and they have market bought their Shirio like everybody else. So B5A1 is a specific wallet, is a specific member of the community. It, they have not doxxed themselves, so we don't know who that person is. We just know that they're out there and that they they constantly buy Shirio when things. When, probably when the when the dips happen, right? So, um, not a whole lot of information about who B five A one is, but they don't know who it is. All right. Uh, there was some trading card questions as far as alpha gameplay. Who will be able to play the the alpha game? Um, and initially, it'll be a small group of close players. 
But then after they do some testing and everything, it's going to be open to everybody. So, like, once they, they get some bugs worked out and do some testing and stuff like that, they will open it up to everybody. They're going to go through alpha, beta testing. And beta testing will be a smoother, more balanced experience than alpha will be. And everybody will have access to the beta play as well. So um, one of the other key points that I think is important is they will be adding language packs to it. So if you don't speak English, uh, just look for the, the packs to come or to, for a language pack to come out that that can help you trans that will translate the packs for you. All right. Um, the Shurio cards, they talked a lot about the cards overall trying to take the game value because that, you know, that's some, some of the members are concerned about uh, card values and stuff like that. And that's okay. Uh, they're working on that. And then staking, they want to increase other aspects of staking. So they want to add the ability to, maybe get something else besides the base pack. And we've talked a little bit about that. And they should, over time, the staking rewards will probably change what they'll change to. Um, we don't know that. Uh, know that they're also working on, uh, on DAP development and working on um, some bugs that, that have been identified. I don't know the uh, exact details of those bugs, but there's definitely a few bugs out there and they're updating those. And then um, they haven't set out, a, as far as Shurio Converse is concerned, they haven't set out a definitive amount of land yet. All I know is that 10% of it's going to be neutral, and the rest of it will be divided up evenly between the four different quadrants. The price for land hasn't been, um, you know, hasn't been put out there yet. And they don't know exactly how much is going to be out there, but there's only going to be, like, it's going to be out there. You have to have a avatar to whitelist to, to buy it in the, in the beginning. And then um, and then it'll be available, right? And the price will be set on the market, okay? All right. Hey, we've gone through a lot. We've talked about a, a lot. We've talked about Ape. We've talked about Shirio. We've talked about Metaverse. We've talked about, um, you know, security things. So, guys, I appreciate you all being here, and thank you guys for being here. We didn't talk about the uh, Shurio Avatar competition today. We will get to that on Sunday, and we'll talk about it. Um, well, it's almost Sunday. You may be watching this, and it is Sunday. That's okay. We're going to get to it. <laughs> um, we, we wanted to take a little bit of time off, um, go through everything, get things situated, and not all of us could be here today, all right? So, uh, we will... We will uh, broadcast that out shortly and we will hit the uh, brackets coming up Monday as far as the start of that competition. All right. Thank you guys for being here. I'm blessed to be here. My name is Jason or Jay, however you want to thrive, tech, you know, whatever you want to call me. Just don't call me like, obviously I haven't been too much, right? All right. See you guys later. Peace out. Be blessed.